Yeah, I'm sorry you guys were in detention, but life doesn't always work out the way you want it to. I mean, when I was your guys' age, I thought I'd make a living making hilarious prank phone calls. Apparently, caller ID had other plans. <laughs> so, anyway, I've asked you guys to write a poem, and here to help with that is a poetry teacher from the Newberry Writing Workshop. Uh, please say hi to Miss Meadows. Thank you. Okay. Uh, detention, huh? Bummer. So, first of all, I'm going to ask you guys why you're in here. Okay? Okay, you. I texted a picture, a picture of my junk to the vice principal. Oh, okay. We all? Yeah. And what about you? I took the photo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And you? I enjoy the company. Oh, okay. It's a little sad. Okay. Well, let me ask you guys a question, okay? What do you guys think of when you think of poetry? All right? Gross, you know what I'm saying? Wasted time, and don't want to do it. Well, guess what? You don't want to be here? Poetry can take you anywhere. Um, okay, um, you have a question? Yeah, like, I'm just trying to make sure, like, are you all right? Or... Uh, okay, why don't I start us off with a poem that I wrote, okay? All right, this is called Snowy Day. Snowflakes drift on my nose and in my ears. Wet, white, and beautiful. Did an angel sneeze? Lost in the glistening mounds of snow. Crunch, crisp, captivating. Okay, now, who's written a poem about where they would rather be? Okay, I did. Uh, okay. Okay, um, <clears throat> this is called Guess Who's Ballin'. <clears throat> I'm at a fancy party. Everything for free. Doritos, Doritos, Doritos! Ooh, wanna come in? Sorry, haters. I'm too busy kissing my real boyfriend that I have. Make it rain. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, that was great imagery. I love the part about the haters. Okay, okay. Now, who else has a poem about where they'd rather be? I got one. Okay, all right. Here we go. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, this is called Hell Yeah. <laughs> Sitting in a waterbed with no pants on. Hell Yeah. <laughs> Xbox and Raven Simone before she was gay. Hell yeah. <laughs> Call her duty. Pass the doobie. Hell yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, that was so enlightening. I was I was instantly transported. Okay. Okay. Anybody else have a poem? Yeah, I think I got one. Oh, okay, come on up and um, let me ask you, um, how did you why did you get in here? Well, you know, I mean, like, if I'm guilty of anything, it's probably, like, spreading too much love, you know what I'm saying? But specifically, um, I got caught uh, banging a new librarian. So. Oh, I, I, yeah. yeah, she's uh, 68 years old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you know, like, this poem's not about where I'd rather be. It's kind of, like, about um, who I'd rather be with. Oh, yeah. I, I mean... It's called um, Older Lady. <laughs> When I'm with you, everything's a blur. When I look at the pornos, I search for mature. Oh, okay. <laughs> Older lady. <laughs> Let's take a warm bath. Let's see how you feel. I mean, of course you got age spots. That just makes you more real. <laughs> Chardonnay and calcium chews. Baby, I'm falling. You got a new blouse from Chico's? <laughs> Baby, that's balling. <laughs> and, uh, all right, that's where I'm gonna shut this whole thing down. Because it's starting to sound like someone is punching a dolphin. So, sorry everyone, bad idea. Next time we'll just watch that same DVD of New Jack City again. How's that sound? <laughs>
All right, settle, settle. Hey! All right, I hope you all remember that your homework was to write some poems. And here's a nice surprise. I won't be teaching you today. Applause, applause. Yes, I have got a job interview, thank Christ. <laughs> so we've got a poetry specialist from the Newberry Writing Workshop. Say hello to Miss Meadows. Hello, thank you. Thanks, you guys. OK, all right. Okay, now, let me ask you a question, OK? What do you guys think of when you think of poetry, OK? Boring, right? Study, you know what I'm saying? Homework, and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Guess what? Poetry can be pretty cool. And in our class, you can write poems about anything you want, OK? You can write poems about boys, you know what I'm saying? Your first kiss, Anderson. <laughs> Slow dancing with the boy, Anderson. Hey, you. What's something that you'd love to write about? Uh, like Grand Theft Auto and like butts. <laughs> well, guess what? That's awesome. And guys, I was in the teen once too. Okay. I, I went out on the town. You know. Okay. Hey, you. What did you do this past Friday night? Who, yeah. me? Uh, I got paid, you know, to hollow out, you know, deli cigarettes. Sure. <laughs> Been there. Now, what about you? I filmed a bunch of bugs eating a dead bird. OK, great. Let's get into it. OK, I'm going to read one of my favorite poems, OK? It's called Winter Tree. <laughs> Sticky sweet sugar on my tongue and, <laughs> and fluffy white marshmallow on my nose. <laughs> Can't wait for the next cup. Ah, OK, can you guys taste it? All right, now who else wrote a poem? I did. OK, great, get up here. Cool. OK, this is called The Yearbook Committee. The yearbook committee can suck it. They are not good. Y'all want to laugh at me just because I had a nip slip at a pep rally. <laughs> Joke's on you. That was just a big old mole. <laughs> OK, you know, I feel like I was at that pep rally. It was a great job. OK, now let's move on to haikus. OK, now what do you think of when you think of a haiku, you know? <laughs> Foreign, right? Nonsense, okay? Too much work, you know? And guess what? Haikus can be pretty fun. And, okay, because they're short, first of all. They're five syllables, and then seven, and then five, okay? And you might say haikus were the first tweets. And... Okay, so who wrote a haiku? Yes, you. Yeah, um, my haiku is called, Hey, where my weed at? Great question. Yeah. <laughs> hey, where my weed at? Oh, uh, y'all gonna be like that? Damn. Why y'all quiet? Intriguing. <laughs> yeah. whether the main character finds his weed. Yeah, me too. <laughs> now, does anyone else have a poem? I do. Oh, OK. I, I, um, I wrote this just now. It's called The Flower. A flower bloomed in school today. A blonde flower that made my heart stop. A flower bloomed in school today who smelled like herbal tea and cough drops. <coughs> I used to be an angry weed, but now my lust has bloomed. I used to think that I was straight, but maybe I'm gay for flowers. Is everything okay? I thought I heard a steal. You know what? I was just finishing up, okay? And if you guys learned anything today, I hope it's that haikus and poetry can be pretty fun. So, okay. Hello, everyone.
everyone. I am your substitute teacher, Mrs. Meadows, okay? School, huh? Let me ask you something. What do you think of when you think of writing poetry, huh? Lame, okay? <laughs> Outdated, anything? <laughs> Studying, anything? <laughs> well, guess what? Poetry can be pretty cool. Oh, okay. You know who some of my favorite poets are? Okay, I don't know if you've ever heard of them. Um, uh, Taylor Swift, okay? Kanye West, I'm gonna say. Eminem's, okay? It's Eminem. I love that you're listening, okay. Now, the point is, you can all be poets, okay? So your usual teacher asked you to write a poem about something you're thankful for. And I wrote, a Thanksgiving poem myself. Here goes. <laughs> Turkey dinner. Warm, pleasing, pungent. <laughs> Sour cranberry sauce. Sweet yams with sticky marshmallows. <laughs> Savory stuffing and spiced cider. <laughs> Notes of rosemary and cinnamon dance inside my nose. <laughs> Family and friends come together to share laughter and, of course, pumpkin pie. Oh, okay, now, who else has a poem about something they're thankful for? I do. Okay, great, come on up. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay, um, I'm thankful for my stepdad, Ron, and my poem is called Ron Rules. Great, okay. <clears throat> Ron is hilarious. He wears a t-shirt that looks like a tuxedo. Uh-oh, he fancy. <laughs> when we go to Burger King, he says, I'll have a Whopper medium rare. Everybody laughs and goes crazy. <laughs> Thanks, Ron, for being dope. Oh, great. <laughs> that was wonderful. Cool. Thank you so much. Now, does anybody else have a poem? <laughs> I can do one. Oh, OK, great. Come on up. Okay. Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, I'm thankful for that show, Friends. Oh. So here we go. <clears throat> Turn on TBS. Oh, snap! Friends is on. Ross is a little bitch. <laughs> but he made me laugh, though. Chandler be telling jokes about when Monica was heavy. He don't give a damn. Uh. Joey is a player. He always be asking girls how they doing. Yes. Rachel and Monica be hot as hell, but I'll take Phoebe, because she quirky, and I'm a freak. Okay, 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 thank you so much. Wow. You know, I feel like I really know that show now. Okay, great. Okay, guys, I have a special treat, okay? I brought a friend of mine who performs regularly at Windcatcher Wednesdays, the poetry night I host at Calypso Coffee down on Franklin Street, okay? Now, please give your snaps to Tamara Lake. Hello. 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 <laughs> now, I asked Tamara to share a poem about something that she's thankful for, OK? And I did. <laughs> this one is called UPS Man. Oh, OK. Short sleeves, short shorts, leaves me short of Breath. Oh, okay. Cinnamon skin and a mustache thick as sin. Oh, okay. Why must you go out when I only want you in? Oh, okay. Mr. UPS man. Each day you bring goods to those who are waiting. But there is only one package you've got me craving. And it is yours. Mr. UPS man. Okay. Oh, okay. Your truck has no doors, but I am open wide. Oh, okay. So drive into my tunnel uh -huh. and explore inside. Oh, okay. Um, Mr. UPS okay. man. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Did that lady oh, swallow a bike okay. horn? Okay. Um, you know what? Uh, maybe we should stop our poetry unit for today, okay? No, uh, no, no, no. This is awesome. Dude, what about the FedEx okay. guy? Okay, I think that's <laughs> all for today, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah.